What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be talking about Guy Ritchie's new film Operation Fortune Ruse de Guerre. Written and directed by Guy Ritchie and starring an all-star cast of people like Jason Statham, Aubrey Plaza, Carrie Elwes, Hugh Grant, Josh Harnett, Bugsy Malone, and many more. Operation Fortune is a pretty straightforward action thriller. Hey guys, what's going on? Before we get too far into this, I'd like to take a moment to say a big thanks to you guys for clicking here on this video and hearing my thoughts on the new Guy Ritchie film. He's a director who I haven't covered a ton of his stuff here on the channel, but I have a lot of respect for him as a director and a filmmaker. I enjoy a lot of his films. And even when there are films that maybe I don't connect to deeply emotionally, uh, I like the style of his films overall. So going into this film, Operation Fortune, I definitely was interested. You got a really nice cast, like I mentioned before, Jason Statham, Aubrey Plaza, Hugh Grant, Carrie Elwes, and so many more. And so, yeah, you see an action thriller film that's going to have some comedic beats directed by Guy Ritchie with a really solid cast. And it seems like it'd be a really, really good time. And I won't waste any of your time and I'll jump straight into my thoughts on this movie and what I think audiences are going to take from this movie. Personally, I found this to be a pretty middle-of-the-road film. As a fan of Guy Ritchie's films, and maybe not all of them, but a lot of them, I found this one to be a little bit of a forgettable one in the mix. There's some fun action throughout, there's some good cinematography done by Alan Stewart from beginning to end that definitely gives the film a nice visual style. There's some cool moments of humor, some cool moments of character chemistry, but beyond that, I found this to be a pretty straightforward, kind of just run-of-the-mill action movie that has a pretty generic plot, has very generic villains, a very generic wrap-up to its narrative, and ultimately never really lived up to what I was hoping this movie would be. I guess a part of this movie that could be enjoyed by a lot of people is it just being a straightforward, mindless action movie. It's not trying to be anything greater, and it's not trying to be anything worse. I think Guy Ritchie was just trying to make a straightforward spy espionage film that had some sprinklings of humor throughout with a nice cast, and I think for the most part, he pulls that off. But in terms of this being a memorable Guy Ritchie film that I'm going to revisit in the future, uh, I can't can't really say that that's necessarily going to be the case when it comes to Operation Fortune. The basic premise of this film is some bad guys have taken a thing that's military grade that cannot be in the hands of the bad guys so they get this group of mercenaries together you got a, the leader played by Jason Statham uh, you know you got the, the sharpshooter you got the tech person you got the comedic relief in the mix and uh, they end up going and trying to stop the bad guys from using this thing that they now have in their possession and along the way there's another group of mercenaries working for the government to try to get their hands on this device as well and so you have two different mercenary teams going head to head trying to get this device from the bad guys and I'm sure you can kind of see where this movie would go it's a pretty straightforward premise it's nothing you haven't seen before it's nothing that really reinvents the wheel or does anything different or exciting with the genre it's a very straight run-of-the-mill action film that knows what it is it was enjoyable at times but I'll be completely honest in saying that there were times where I felt the runtime was very much felt I did feel the runtime throughout the course of the movie and there were a couple of moments where I found my eyelids getting a little bit heavy not because I thought the movie was bad it just at times felt so run-of-the-mill and at times felt so by the numbers that I ultimately just saw where the movie was going I felt a little bit just dull and bored at times and while I was still entertained by the overall film there were ultimately sections of the film that I never really found myself too invested in because it just seemed like the hey we're here for this moment of the film where we're gonna sit in a room and talk about what we need to do here's the plan here's these characters uh, here's what we're gonna go do here's that random bad guy that's just gonna show up for two seconds and say the random bad guy thing here's a quick little moment of action and then we're just going to kind of move on to another moment where we're sitting in a car and setting up the plan for the next part of the movie and by the time you have done that for the first 40 minutes of the movie I just ultimately mentally was just starting to check out a little bit again I didn't dislike the film I just thought that it was a very middle of the road film I was entertained enough but this isn't a movie I could ever see myself revisiting again I think the biggest highlights of this film without a doubt are the cast who I think definitely elevate the material here uh, there are definitely 
definitely some great moments of chemistry with the cast. There's definitely some great moments of humor. The action is fun. I think Jason Statham is always going to be great, especially when it comes to a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's some fun hand-to-hand -hand combat action in this film that Jason Statham is at the front and center of, and I think that he definitely sells those moments, keeping it really engaging and fun to watch in those moments. But when it comes to the narrative, when it comes to the real character depth here, when it comes to anything that's going to be ultimately really memorable in this genre with a genre that has so many movies that have this same base premise with so many other you know actors that are in them and so many more memorable versions of a similar story like this i don't necessarily see that operation fortune is going to be something that stands at the top of that genre list and yeah i won't waste any more of your guys's time so that's my thoughts on the movie i do think this is a movie that some people enjoy more than others there were some people in my theater who were laughing a lot more than i was at certain moments in the film so it's going to be a subjective experience but i ultimately found this to be a middle of the road film it's harmless it's not great it's not terrible it's just there i think if if you're gonna watch it I don't know that it's necessarily worth rushing the theaters to see I think mean, there's better things in theaters that I would recommend people go and see when it comes to this one I'd say if you ever catch it on a streaming service or something like that this is the perfect lazy Saturday in the afternoon kind of movie to throw on with your family if you're just kind of chilling and yeah that's gonna be my thoughts on this one so big thanks to you guys for watching hit that like button comment your thoughts subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one Buh bye bye